Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a Gloom Wukong build. Now first, I want to point out this is not a serious build. I'm only doing this because somebody else asked me to see what I could do with it. So let's take a look at his abilities. First, we have Celestial Twin, where Wukong splits out his clone, equipped with the same mods and weapons that you have. He does extra damage, but it is based on AI, so it's a little bit wacky. His 2 is Cloudwalker, which basically functions a bit like a rolling guard, except you get heals based on distance traveled and invincibility with increased movement speed in all directions of 3D space. His 3 Defy is kind of like another get out of jail free card where you taunt things to hit you and then you will retaliate with much more damage afterwards as well as a lasting armor bonus. Finally, his 4 is his exalted weapon with his iron staff, although it is a little bit eclipsed by normal melee these days. His passive grants him 1 of 5 possible effects when he dies and will automatically revive you with 50% HP. This can happen up to 3 times total and the game picks 3 from that pool of 5 at the start of every mission. So now let's take a look at what I did with this kit. We're choosing to keep Celestial Twin on since this is actually going to be a very important ability as we're slotting on Celestial Stomp for that on-demand CC on his 1. Then we have Cloudwalker, which will basically double his rolling guard on his build, and consequently you will find that mod absent. Defy is kind of just a oh shit moment card that we won't really be using that much. His 4 Iron Staff was replaced with Gloom, which is the whole point why we're taking a look at his build, and this improves the sustain and CC potential of his kit while doubling down with Celestial Stomp. So let's see how the mods look. As a reminder, all the builds I show are for either Steel Path or Steel Path Endurance. So the first thing you'll notice here is actually we have Garbage Tier Duration and Max Efficiency. This is a little bit unusual on a Gloom build, but the reason why we're doing this is because his 1 is not affected by Duration. Only his 2 and his 3 are, but we're using the 2 more so just as a getaway and stun moment rather than really traveling, so that doesn't matter. His 3 is kinda just whatever. His 4, well, Drain Calcs use both uncapped efficiency and duration. So you will see here that we are all the way down to minimum drain at one quarter of the base, being only 1.88 at the max. Now you may also have noticed I'm only running regular continuity on his kit. Why is that? This is because of how the drain calculations work. If I swap this on for prime continuity, you'll see we still have the 1.88 drain, then that's because it's already capped. Now if I run a rank 4 continuity, you'll see it goes up to 2, and this is because if you're running 190 efficiency for the uncapped calculations, the breakpoint to maintain the minimum possible drain is 40% duration, so that's why we're sticking with a rank 5 here. Now I can throw preparation back on, we do want a rank 8, it's just I don't have one and I didn't feel like ranking another one up. We'll also be slotting his 1 augment Celestial Stomp to CC enemies as it has even more range than Gloom being a base 20 meters when Gloom is only 16. We're also not going to be running Rolling Guard on this build as his Cloudwalker functions for the exact same purpose giving you iframes and letting you get away quickly. So setting up his efficiency duration this way is super handy for that minimum drain as since this is a build meant for shorter steel path missions like exterminate or sabotage or capture, we actually have a ton of energy sustain and we don't need energize on the build, which opens up the door to a little bit more possibilities. Of course, we're still going to run Aegis, which will maintain our shield gate if it procs with any incoming damage, whereas the other arcane you can now pick, say, Strike, or some other options like Acceleration, Nullifier, Avenger, etc. Let's take a look at how this build plays out. As usual, you want to proc Growing Power and then cast your 4 for that increased slow. Then we spit out our twin, which hopefully survives for the entire mission, and hold down 1 to Celestial Stomp as needed. This build has a 29 meter radius on the knockdown, which lasts an extremely long amount of time that stacks multiplicatively with Gloom. So I'm just going to stand here and you'll really see how long it takes for them to stand back up. As I said before, this is just a meme build. There's probably better ways to put his kit to use, but hey, if you wanted a way to slap Gloom on Wukong, it does work. So now let's look at a little bit more serious, but well, honestly still joke of a build for Steel Path Endurance. A couple of things have changed on this build. The first thing you'll notice is we're now running Brief Respite instead of Growing Power since we do actually need that shield gating. We're also running Power Drift so we can get a little bit of that strength back. We're also running Energize now since the mission is endless so even though we have such low drain, we still need a way to get sustainable amounts of energy back. The build plays out pretty much the exact same except now you can cast your 4 immediately from the get go and don't have to set it up first with Growing Power. Then you just spit out your clone and then Celestial Stomp to your heart's content. 
Now, as you saw, I did get knocked down there, so I would recommend, say, possibly slotting on a Worm Prime for Negate, which blocks any status effect once every 5 seconds. Of course, you'll also slot on your staples, like Prime Regen for survivability, and the Synth Set for Holster Reload, as well as multi-purpose health orbs. You also got Utility, like Primed Animal Instinct, and Vacuum, as well as Fired Up, which works well with the Verglass weapon we're bringing, and finally, Assault Mode so he actually attacks. Verglass is basically a Glaxon copied onto a Sentinel weapon, it's a massive status spreader that will just prime anything you can't kill. Now the remaining footage in this video is just Steel Path. This is the first build where we actually have growing power. You'll see I proc it and then cast my slow and spit out my clone. Now I can just honestly stomp as I feel like it, it's really not that important, but isn't any different than all the other builds I've shown you without any extra synergy with this kit. Now on Acolytes, the slow does work as I've shown before, with that full 95% effect. The stomp does work also, but they do build up resistance to it very, very quickly. The initial stomp will slow them down for 4 seconds, then it'll cut down to 3, then 2, and you'll reach a point where it's a second or even less. It's kind of, you can see it all happening here, and at this point, it barely slows them down at all. But you still can just prime them up and hack them down with your melee, since they can't really do anything. You can put the stomp to use if you immediately try to kill them outright. Now as a reminder once again, this is just a meme build for Wukong. There are better synergies and better helmets you can put on him. I'm only showing this up as a couple people have brought it up to me since I keep showing gloom builds on whether or not there is a way to make it work with Wukong. So please don't tear me apart in the comments. I do know this build is super gimmicky and clunky as holding down the one to cast only gets a full effect if his clone is nearby you and you also need to wait for the animation. So that's all I wanted to show you today for this meme video. Uh, I don't really know if this is what you wanted to expect, and I hope the person that recommended me this is happy with how it turned out. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 75.8% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to bring you all the information I can about the Tempest Story update, as well as any tips and drinks or further helmet videos, so you don't want to miss out on any of that. That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.